All right, we are back. Um, as soon as I got done making this video, the patch notes came out for season two. So we're going to go over these pretty quickly. There's a lot of changes, so I'm not going to go into depth of each one, but we will go into them. All right, so Absol, Night Slash cooldown decreased. Um, it was five seconds, which is nice. Shout out to Serebii too. This, this layout is awesome. Um, Night Slash decreased range of second attack, so that kind of got... Nerfed a little bit. Sucker Punch cooldown decreased. Sucker Punch increased duration of hindrance. Okay, so I think Absol got a nice little uh, nice little buff. He deserves one. In my opinion, Absol really needed needed something different, which is cool. I don't really know about uh, the range for Absol. That kind of stinks, but I, I liked seeing some stuff uh, buffed on Absol's part. Because I, I honestly think it was the worst character in the game. It still might be, but we'll see. All right, Zara Aura slash reduced amount of attacks done. That's a that's huge. However, slash increased damage per hit. Okay, so it kind of got a nerf and a buff at the same time. Spark period between moves has increased. Interesting. That'll be interesting to see. All right, and increases amount of consecutive wild charge attacks while using Spark. Okay, so that kind of did this character get. I feel like I feel like uh, the first two characters got both nerfed and buffed at the same time. Wild charge res reduced damage received when using attack. So you don't at you don't take as much damage when you use this move. Is that what I'm getting out of this? Interesting. So is their aura back? Their aura is always good, but did they just buff it again? Besides slash, I mean. Okay, that'll be interesting. I'm excited to play with the Zara Aura for sure. All right, Charizard Fire Punch makes a target get burned when hitting multiple opponents. Oh, that'll be nice for team fights for sure. Flamethrower increased movement speed after attacking. Thank you. Oh my God, Charizard was so slow in my opinion. That that'll be huge for Charizard. Fire Blast cooldown decreased. Seismic Slam now increased. Increases damage dealt by basic attack and restores your HP when damaging opponents. Oh my god. Okay, Charizard got a huge buff. Let's go. Um, Giga Drain for Venusaur. Increases the reduction of damage user receives after use. Increases the total damage done for Petal Dance. Wow. Okay, Venusaur got buffed. Oh my god. Okay, this will be interesting for sure. Pyro Ball increases the damage of total total damage done. Did Cinderace get buffed? It, it seems like it. Everything got reduced, like the cooldowns, bug fixes. I don't know what they are, but seems like Cinderace got a nice little uh, nice little buff. All right, Talonflame stat increase. So Talonflame stat is now a lot higher. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, fly cooldown reduced. Yeah, that that 11 seconds is kind of a lot. Increases move movement speed in air. Okay, so it's a little bit faster when he uses fly. That's cool. Flame speed reduction in requirements RTO recharge. Okay. Interesting. All right, so town a lot of characters are getting buffed. Jeez. Garchomp got another buff. Defense is uh, is increased. Special defense is Increased as well to 420 and 318. Rough skin, adjust activation delay. Okay, so that... All right, all right, all right. Here we go. Here we go. Greninja, thank the Lord. HP, stat decrease, attack, stat decrease. Thank you. Smokescreen, fix bug, causing smokescreen plus appearing early. That's cool. Substitute, adjust to... Adjusted, so targets hit... Substitute easier. Nice. You love to see it. Water shuriken fix a bug. Water burst shuriken activates quicker, so the you could probably steal a little bit for uh, like objectives a little bit easier too. So that's nice for its unite move. But however, I'm very happy. Even torrent got reduced a little bit. The attack boost. All right, that's fine with me. That's all I wanted, honestly. That's all I wanted. I I don't like playing Greninja like I don't like facing Greninjas they, they they attack way too much you die in like three hits all right wiggly buff 
Oh, thank the, thank the Lord too. All right, so you're seeing a lot of meta Pokemon getting nerfed hard. Special attack de stat decrease, pound damage lowered, dazzling gleam damage lowered, sing fixed bug where Pokemon remained asleep even if hit by attack. Interesting. Cute, cute charm activation gap reduced. Thank you. Thank you, Pokemon Unite. Thank you so much. All right, so Greninja and Wigglytuff both got a huge nerf, in my opinion. That's what I think. That's what I'm getting from this. I mean, that's nice. Next up, we have Cramorant. Basic attack boosted, damage increased, surf damage lowered, dive time between moves has been reduced, Gatling Gulp mi missile uh, damage lowered. Interesting. I didn't think Cramorant really needed a tweak, or it, I, I honestly thought it was fine, but the basic attack is increased. All right, Lucario, my main. Um, I think power up punch damage to opponent Pokemon lowered. Okay, I don't. What? That's the previous, right? I think it is. So honestly, I mean, that's not. Other than that, I mean, close combat damage increase, close combat increase amounts of hits, close combat plus. Fix the bug where damage didn't increase. So Lucario unfortunately did get a nerf to Power Punch. However, E Speed is really good too. I mean, I've been trying to play E Speed a little bit more. Um, this character is still gonna be top tier, in my opinion. Um, I'll have to play him out a little bit. But close combat buff is gonna be interesting because I, I used to run close combat, but it was never that good. It's not something you pick over Bone Rush, so that's interesting. Alolan Ninetales Blizzard alters how damage is dealt after hitting an obstacle. Interesting. Snow Globe fixed a bug where damage wasn't increased against frozen opponents. Okay, so not too much for um, Ninetales. It kind of kind of just feels like a bug fix. Uh, these are all bug fixes. Okay. Cotton Guard fixed a bug with HP recovery. Nice. Leaf Tornado improved effective move. That's cool. Gardevoir fixed the bug with damage. Gardevoir deserves something, I think. Um, fixed the bug where Pokemon remained asleep, even hit by attack for Snorlax when he uses Yawn. Gengar is back. Lick. Fixed bug for when opponents were pulled in. Okay, so that'll be interesting. This, this, these are a lot of changes for Season 2. Oh my god. Pretty much all bug changes. I don't... It doesn't really seem like anything's, like, I don't know. There's not really much different. I'm going to look at Blastoise. Rapid Spin fixed a bug when causing movement speed. How did Blastoise not get nerfed? Fixed a bug that allowed you to use Hydro Pump and Water Spot at the same time as a basic attack during a spin. Okay, that'll be a lot different. Okay, never mind. Okay, maybe these are some nerfs. Interesting. Okay. All right. So that is our that is our patch notes for season two launch date coming tomorrow. If you guys are excited, drop a like, drop a sub, ring the notification bell. I'd really appreciate it. Join the Discord, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.